Hi, I'm Cheryl and welcome to my sewing room. I'm going to demonstrate how to make a really fun quilt block that is a sailboat. So let's take a look at it. Okay, now you can see that I'm using primary colors here because I thought this was a perfect block for a children's room, a baby quilt, a pillow, whatever it is you wanted to make out of it. But remember, you don't have to make it out of primary colors. You can use any color scheme that you like. So there's two sails. This is the boat bottom. This portion here is the sea or lake water, ocean water, whatever you want to call it. And the white here, you'll see, you'll hear me refer to it as background fabric or sky fabric. So it's really whatever you want it to be. Now I'm going to show you real quickly here what it could look like if you wanted to make it into a pillow. And at the end of the video, I will give you instructions on the fabric pieces that you need to add to turn it into this 16 inch pillow size. And it's really easy to do, just an additional few pieces to stitch on. Okay, so let me go over the cutting instructions for this. All right, this is a 12 and a half inch finished size for the uh, block. I'm going to adjust this just a little bit. So it's 12 and a half inches square. Your boat bottom, you'll need one piece of fabric that is three and a half inches by 12 and a half inches. For the sails, you need to select two different prints or two different colors and out of each one of those, you're going to cut a square six inches by six inches. And then for the sea water or the ocean or lake water, you're going to cut a strip four and a half inches by 12 and a half inches. And for the background or sky, you'll need two three and a half inch squares, two six inch squares, one two and a half by five and a half inch rectangle piece. And then down here are the instructions for cutting your strips of fabric for the pillow if you want it. But remember, it will require that you use one 16 inch pillow form. And I will go over this in more detail near the end of the video. Alrighty, so take your two six inch background or sky fabrics and you're going to take your ruler, place it corner to corner and you're going to draw a line corner to corner. Now you're doing this on both six uh, inch squares and then you're going to bring front sides together of your sail fabric. So here it is. Here's my other sail. Okay, so front sides together and then you're going to stitch right on that drawn line. Stitch right on top of it. Then you're going to take your ruler place the quarter inch line, place it on your stitch line and get it right on there and then you're going to cut this off and just set it aside, throw it away or put it in your scrap pile. You're going to do this on both pieces. Then you're going to press, uh, press them, then unfold it and press on top. Now on one square, you're going to press this seam towards the background fabric. But on the other sales, uh, square, you're going to press this seam towards the sail fabric. Okay, so now take both of your sail fabrics and you're going to bring them on top of each other. Okay, now Look at this corner right here. You'll see that the seam on the bottom is going in the opposite direction than the one on top. This will lay nice and flat if you have them locked in really tight. So get them in real close. If it feels lumpy and bumpy, that's because they're not locked in correctly. So once you've got that done, go ahead and place a pin to hold it. Then stitch one quarter inch right along here. Then press the seam on the back side 
and then press the seam on top and push this seam towards either side, either sail side. Just make sure that the whole seam is going all in one direction. Now take your two and a half inch by five and a half inch piece of background fabric. Bring it on top. Line it up on this side. Go ahead and stitch one quarter inch. Then press the seam, unfold, and press again. Okay, so now you have this section all completed. So go ahead and set that aside. Now take your two three and a half inch squares, place your ruler on top, and draw your line on both of them. Okay, so now you've got lines going corner to corner. Now take these squares and you're going to place them on each end of the boat bottom. Okay, so this is your boat fabric. Now as you're placing them, you're placing them right up against the edges here, but make sure your pencil diagonal line goes from this corner down this way. And then over here on this side, it's going from this corner down that way. Because if you have them going like this, you're going to have one funky looking little boat. So make sure they're both going this way because you're creating that boat bottom. Go ahead and stitch right next to that pencil line. Not on top of it, but right next to it. But make sure you stitch on this side of the line, this side, and over here on this square, you're going to stitch on this side of the pencil line. Make sure it's real close though. Now take your ruler, place that quarter inch line on your stitch line, okay? And then you're going to take your rotary cutter and go ahead and cut that off. You're going to do that on both sides, both ends of that. Then go ahead and press the squares so that they go out like that. So now you can see your boat shape. Alrighty, so now take your seawater and here's your boat. This is the seawater or lake water. Bring it on top and stitch one quarter inch along here. Now go ahead and press, then unfold and press on top. Now make sure that this seam here goes that way, towards the ocean water, okay? Towards that ocean water. Now you're going to take the sails and the boat bottom and ocean and you're going to bring them together. So you're going to stitch them together here. So just bring the sails on top and you're going to stitch one quarter inch along here, right along there. And then go ahead and press the seam on the back, then unfold and press it on top. And this seam that you just pressed, make sure it's going towards the bottom of the boat, okay? And then you're almost done. You just have one little tiny step to do. And it's always important to square your block up to make sure it is actually 12 and a half inches. So if you have a square ruler like this, this is a 12 and a half inch squaring ruler, I highly recommend you have this because you'll use it a lot. And lay it on top, check to see if there's any pieces of fabric sticking out or to see if it's all jagged and if it's really off and you need to kind of check it to see where you went wrong. And do your final squaring and then it's ready to put in any project you want it to be in. So I think this block is perfect for a children's quilt. Now if you want to make this into a quilt it would be great idea to put sashing on it and the sashing helps to make the blocks in your quilt really stand out. It's a frame. So if you need instructions on how to put sashing onto a quilt, click on the link in the upper 
right hand corner and it will take you through the basic steps that you need to do to create just this simple type of stashing sashing that can be used on it now you can also turn it into that pillow remember the pillow okay now I'm going to go over the uh, instructions for stitching on the additional pieces of fabric on the pillow on each side of the sails and I'm going to turn this just a little bit you're going to put on a three inch by eight and a half inch strip of fabric you're going to put it over here on this side let me turn this and then you're going to put it over here on this side using one quarter inch seam go ahead and do your pressing then up here at the top you're going to put a four and a half inch strip by 17 inch strip to fill up this top and then of course do your pressing with that and then down here at the bottom the seawater instead of having a 12 and a half inch long piece of fabric you're going to cut it four and a half by 17 inches long and then you have your finished block size of 17 inches so that you can turn it into a 16 inch pillow and if you're not sure how to finish off a pillow click on the link in the upper right hand corner for instructions on how to do that really simple to make a pillow well I hope that you try this sailboat block okay it's really 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 uh, fun and easy to do let me show you one more pillow you don't have to use children fabrics to make this pillow you can use contemporary fabrics and put together this beautiful pillow I've used all one color family but there's different prints and also there's piping up here around the edges if you don't know how to do piping and you're interested in learning how to do that then click on the link in the upper right hand corner these are so much fun and they're so pretty okay now to keep informed on any future videos that we have and we always have a video coming out every week you need to click on subscribe so click on the one down there in the lower right hand corner it's red it says subscribe or if your cursor happens to be up there in the left corner go ahead and click on that round picture of my face they're both subscribe buttons once you do that YouTube's gonna prompt you for your email address so make sure you enter that once you do that the next time I have a new video YouTube will send you a brief email with a big button in the center you go ahead and click on that button and it takes you directly to my latest video I'm Cheryl and I'm so glad you came to my sewing room and I'm gonna see you next time and remember happy sewing <music>